All right, well, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. Neville Knight here, and this, this again, you, you know, this map looks incredible. If you guys haven't had a chance to check it out here at EA Play, you, oh man, you're gonna you're gonna be in for a treat here. Wessie, what do you have for me, buddy? Just wanted to say straight up that you might have noticed we're playing the Conquest game mode, but um, both sets of teams have got two captured flags already. And then in the no man's land in the middle, that's where you've got two neutral, uncontested flags. Yeah, that's something really unique to this. We, we wanted to make sure that the two flags that were in your point are the flags you already own. We thought it'd be really weird if you had to capture the flags that were already in your trenches. Okay, is that something that you guys are experimenting for this one, or is it something that we could potentially see in other maps as well? Yeah, I think that you're, you might be seeing some more of this in the near future. Yeah, because it is a little weird, right? To like start the game off and you're like, okay, well, we're, well we know what we're going to get, yeah. right? So we might as well just get to the action quicker right. by just giving, it, uh, giving those, those two spots there. And it also makes that encounter uh, a bit more intense for, for C and D because you want to be able to push up. Right in the middle. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the yeah. no man's land, as you guys had mentioned before. Um, okay, so take a look. Oh, my goodness. Just got absolutely shredded on that one. Bang a just did all the work on that. I think we're on board with Stone Mountain here. We're in the middle of No Man's Land, heading towards Dead Steel. And you might just be able to see over to the left as he goes over the hill here. You see the massive shell of a Shah 2C behemoth there. And that's been added in recently, I think. Yeah, so what you're seeing now is the remains of a shelling, right? What happened in this time, this is, this is based on Nivelle Offensive, where you had a, sh a shelling attack on the German front. Um, and, and this is what we're seeing. This is the results, and you're fighting within the midst of that. And they're doing their absolute best to be able to maintain control here of C, get Dead Steel locked down. I wonder what Stone's gonna, where, where he's gonna send his shoots. Oh, they're, they're looking to push forward. They're looking to push toward B. Take B. Okay, I like that. Stone Mountain, Unit 64 on the move, and he's gonna find someone in front of him. Nice kill there on Q. JB, take a seat. <laughs> Loving that. Well, it's interesting that he's decided to go for the B point rather than going for the other no man's land flag. So what he's essentially saying to his troops is, look, let's take their trench line and yeah. force the issue onto them. Because as we said, they were already captured for that team anyway, and they've decided to just go straight for it and take those flags instantly. This is exciting because, you, you know, the players right now, you have to make a decision. I mean, if, if I'm... You know, if I'm this squad, I'm, I'm thinking, okay, well, if we need to push. We, we have to get a little aggressive. We have to, you know, do our absolute best here to kind of maintain our positions. Um, and, you know, the German forces, they, they only have two flags at this moment. Meanwhile, right. on the other side, though, the French, they're dominating. They are dominating at the moment. And actually, as we were watching Stone Mountain there going for some of the uh, the enemy trench lines, we ended up seeing that the two objectives that they'd run yeah, away from ended up getting it. taken by the enemy team. So. The, the whole map sort of flipped itself on its head for a minute. All right, and here's uh, Miss on your screen here. Uh, Miss Ella, sorry, Miss Ella Cronin. Not Missile, Miss Ella Cronin. Oh, the tank, Missile the Cronin. Tank. The tank. Wait, is there a tank out right now? Yeah, look, in front of them, you can see the, uh, the HUD oh, icon man. there. You also got a little activity in the trenches down there as well. That player knew that he was in a real bad spot, too. He had to get out of dodge as soon as he possibly could. Then one of the things I, I do like about this with the trenches is, you know, there is that, as you saw right there, uh, Miss just threw the, the nade over. Who knows who that will hit, right? Like, you'll right. never know right. in, in the trenches. Yep. Anybody be hiding behind those corners. Boy, Muggs ended up getting picked off there. The lighting's really interesting in the trenches here, actually, because you've got some points that are very well lit. It's just certain parts. And then you go into the straight, narrow trench, moving towards the next bit of light, but you've got almost nothing in between. So you're just seeing the outlines of players off in the distance. Yeah, really what, cool. and, and what's left of the, the moonlight to kind of light those, those spaces. Well, let's talk about the lighting, though, because there is a distinct difference between the French and German side right. when it comes to the lighting. Yeah, so this is really an, an interesting part of the map. Uh, we, we took a lot of interest in, in creating a differences between the sides. And we, the way we did that, what you'll see is there's quite a symmetry in this map. And the way we did that to change it up is, is kind of the lighting played a big role. So we made one side, the German side, and you'll see a lot of electric lights. So you'll see search lights, you'll see a lot of light bulbs, uh, and that's going to be a good indicator that you're on the German side of the map. Uh, so that's is actually quite true to history, too. What we saw was the Germans buckled down, they fortified their, their trenches, and that's why they survived this attack. 
Uh, and then the French side is going to be a lot more organic. You got the fires, you got flames keeping it keeping it lit, and everything's kind of wood, and it's all it's all very organic on that side. Almost feels like it's a little bit more. It's been made in a hurry. Like it was like yeah. we've got to make this now before the yeah. Germans make their push. The French yeah. really didn't have a lot of time. No, in all fairness. Well, what we what we saw too is that the French kind of thought that the that the Nivelle offensive was going to be a big a big win. They were they did the shellings and they thought this is going to be it. So they weren't in it for the long haul, but they proved to be wrong. Yeah. One of the things I really enjoyed about BF1 when it came out, and we're still seeing it today, is we, we you know, I feel like we have a new generation of history buffs who have emerged because of Battlefield 1. Like, people who are genuinely into the history of World War I. Yeah. Because it is, you know, it's the Great War, but there is so, there's so many stories to tell and things that people just don't really know about, uh, which is, makes it very, you know, I guess encapsulating, right? It makes you want to learn more, but, yeah. you know, we're gonna check out yeah, some sniper game yeah, here from my man, Doom 49. Don't let us down, buddy. Get those shots nice. off. Yeah, he was able to get an enemy hit there, giving him 80 points. And he's just gonna continue to march down here oh, toward E, getting ready oh, for the Danzig trench. the trench. I'm looking for him to take off some faces here. It'll be pretty dope <laughs> if he's able to do so. And they have four points right now, so they are marching down the battlefield. No pun intended. I'm sorry. It's actually very interesting because if you look oh. at the looking, oh, that was a nice shot there. That was lovely. But if you look at the points at the oh. moment, oh, he's going on the street. Kid. Oh no! Oh. Oh. If he would have gotten that shot through the trees, I would have just put this headset down and <laughs> walked away. But yeah, if you look at even though the uh, the teams are slightly imbalanced on their flags at the moment, the right. actual score between the two is very, very close. Yeah. And uh, but maybe it's just the fact that when this was all organized, they went, oh, we're going to make this really even on both teams. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Oh, bit of bayonet charge there. Oh, 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 it didn't pay off for him. I think he missed his target. Gamer snack with the pick off there. Uh, yeah. Paul, what are your thoughts? Uh, yeah, and Westy, I mean, sorry, Andrew. No worries. Dear Westy, I, I think to your point, I think that because this is a, a balanced map, it's a very symmetrical. I think that this is that's what makes this a really easy map to, to kind of have those balanced gameplays. Yeah, because, uh, I yeah. mean, looking at it, the, the structure of it, almost, with the trench lines being very similar, yeah. you've almost got that that feeling ah. instantly anyway. He, you've got that... Rage quit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. That's it, done. <laughs> you've got that feeling of it being very balanced from the start, yeah. and it's just dependent on whether your team can communicate properly, whether you use the squad leader function to make sure that you're covering your own objectives and then attacking, like, another single or maybe two objectives at once, and then that balance can remain. But if you decide to go too far forward and push too much and don't cover the flags that you currently own, then the enemy team could get in those trenches yeah. and it's very hard to get them out. Yeah, absolutely. I'm looking to hold down here on B in the front line. It's a, you know, command center of, fort, uh, of, of such, so you got fortified buildings around you and good cover as well and, and high ground advantage, as you can see, X-Factor taking advantage of those opportunities when he sees fit. This guy, man, he is a fantastic Battlefield player and also a great YouTuber, as are all of these uh, creators here. Great streamer as well. I happen to tune into his Twitch streams quite a bit. But Muggs, Muggs manages to find him. But luckily for him, Pony Lion was there wow. on the pickup. That he's not just great. a great pilot, he's a great he's a medic, medic as well. That's what you're looking for in a medic. Really. Yeah. You need somebody to come in and revive your players. That's the thing, Keeps man. That ticket count. Playing the squad and my team, they always abandon me. Then again, I do tend to like run out all the way out you to play the middle of the field. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. But it's like, follow me, you know? Get the hint, dog. Like, right. just, just come with me and, and we'll win the whole game. You're right. that lone wolf kind yeah, of player. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the worst kind, uh, to be fair. I ha I, what I do typically, though, is I hop into a tank and then I just drive around as much as I possibly can and destroy people. Speaking of that, how many tanks can you get on uh, Neville Knight? So there's one tank on each side. Okay. That's the plan here. We wanted to keep it pretty infantry focused. So once you start going too heavy, I mean, you're going to get some, some uh, cavalry as well. Okay. Uh, so that's where, that's where you're going to get a little of that quick yeah, gameplay. Uh, but we wanted it to stay very infantry focused. I think that's really good because obviously you've got these trench lines. And that's for a reason, right? You want the trench lines to be utilized. Yes. So if you gave them loads of vehicles, suddenly everyone's not using the trenches that you right. built. Right. And uh, especially because you've built a lot of the objectives around the trench lines. Yep. The only other two are the ones in No Man's Land in the middle. Yeah. And, and, and that's why there's no, no planes in here as well, right? We don't want you having bombing runs on the yeah. trenches. It really takes away from it. That's right? no fun. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're in a trench. Like, what more can you 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you can vault out, but that's what we all know that. how that goes. Oh boy, here we go. Mugs looking to uh, this is good. Do he's looking some to destroy going some for people. Going for he's me. a fantastic sniper, man. I watch oh his gosh. streams a lot, and he is oh. such a great sniper. Oh, don't oh, give the business. Oh. Don't give Had to go the with the secondary, and he did not. That's the commentator's curse. That is. We said he was so I good. Know. Yeah, <laughs> you give him all the compliments, <laughs> they never pull through. Dude, it always happens that way. Always happens without the revive. Got the revive. There it is. I love it. There you go. March on down, X Factor. You're done. This is one of the uh, the new weapons that's just been introduced as well that you guys introduced in was it the was it the May or the Spring update? I think you added a few new variants. Of yeah, weapons. we had some new variants that we introduced in the May update. Yeah, so this is the uh, Hell the Spring Regal. Spring update. Excuse yeah. me, I think it was the Spring update. This is the Hell Regal defensive, which has yeah. got an optical sight, 120 round drum magazine. Huge. Why you ever need that Huge. many bullets? <laughs> well, and you know, if you really want to spray and pray, <laughs> so right? you. And it's also got the bipod <laughs> as well. So I guess if you wanted to set it up behind cover and literally as as the weapon. Well, when you lay suggests. prone, you are going to be Here we go. a little more accurate. Let's see. Let's see if we can get. That. Look at the spread on the bullet too. You see the way that they're just really going in like a tight order, yeah. yep. which is fantastic. Like that is certainly oh. something you want to see if you hit that. The grenade yeah. paid off. He took half health there. Yeah. Nice. Now he's gonna try and charge in here. Oh, there it is. This There's is how it works. Kill. There we go. The one and only Dankness429. <laughs> he hates that name, but I'm gonna keep saying it every time he's on the screen. There we go. Pop some smoke. Get some cover. Yeah. It's interesting again here because we're on board with the. Uh, who are we on board with here? We're on board with the French army, and they're taking back the flags that they had at the they start lost, of the yeah. round. Right. And as you can see up the top there from the uh, the flag layout, they are sort of fairly behind in terms of the flags they've got at the moment. Well, the it looks score, like they're, they're rallying here. But they're ahead on score, so mm -hmm. the Germans need to pick up a little bit. Looking around here, Darkness issuing those issuing those orders looks when like he can. He wants one. one. Yeah. There we go. There it is. So they're now going to capture their second objective within their own trench lines. lines. Mm -hmm. Oh, lovely takes out there of X Factor. Yeah. Darkness man, I'm telling you, we should change his name. <laughs> he didn't he think so. And there's uh, there's Miss Ella Cronin, who I mistakenly called Missile uh, a little <laughs> while ago. But she's flying through the trenches like a missile. Oh, there you go. That's what I do. <laughs> gotta, you got to bring it back yeah, somehow. That work. That work. One in front. Wow. Out a couple Wasn't of even tank. looking for that. Nukem Dukem, man. Where's your there's awareness, your dog? On board with Doom. Doom 49. The one and only. I think he's top fragging on his squad there. Or on his whole on the whole team. As a matter of fact. I have to look at that yet again. On the um, on the topic of lighting, Andrew, I want yes. to ask you a question. Because Battlefield 1 has some dynamic weather in it. That's right. Well. Um, does Nivelle Knights have the same kind of dynamic weather that other maps do? No, we're not gonna see uh, any storms or any, any sand or anything like that coming in here. Uh, this takes place in the on the in, in French soil or on French soil. So uh, so it's gonna be kind of what you see here. We feel like the night is is really kind of what's where where we're, we're we want to create that atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. It, it, I mean, the the darkness itself gives it a lot of coverage. And imagine adding anything more into that. It could be uh, be a little bit difficult. Who are we on board with here? I think it's Doom 49. Said darkness. Oh, he you takes the one. shot. Don't said darkness. Nice. Whoa, nice. there you go. I had to like, you said darkness and then darkness showed up. It's like, dude. It worked, it right? Fits. It played. So good. It played real well. Well, I do want to mention that we haven't seen it yet, and I hope, I hope one of our game changers manages to make it happen. But, but what about the elite kit, man? I yep. want to see some flamethrower yes. action. I do too. Roasting some fools in the trench. I do too. This is also a great opportunity for maybe a trench raider. Oh, you have the trench raider on this map. I think we might be seeing that. Uh, oh. It would be only oh. fitting to have a trench raider with the trench map. Uh, that's a very good point. He's, I mean, not lying. <laughs> with, the, <laughs> with, the French, with the French pack. I mean, this is an extension of They Shall Not Pass, these, yeah. this map here. So we really, I think we, we, should, uh, we should see if they can pick one up. By the way, can we comment on how close this game is right now? 430, 440 to 431. But it seems like the German Empire they're starting to rally the troops and capture all the bases. All their base belong to the German Empire. <laughs> and they are dominating right now. Now this seems pretty true to history, I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, ain't that the truth? Uh, the French need to find a way to fight this one back. They are, taking a couple, they are taking a couple of the flags back. And actually, you can see a lot of them are actually up for contention. You've got yeah. A, D, E, and F, well. Now D, E, and F, D, all up for contention. Yep. But as you can see, they're all being taken by the enemy team as we're watching. So it, it may come down to a point where we're looking at 
A lot of flags being taken by one team and not being held by the others. By the way, but but we're seeing a lot of combat here in, in the no man zone, right? Yeah. And we just need to see people running towards the flag and starting to capture those points. Because as much as the trenches can be very lethal when you run around the corner and maybe get hit with a shotgun, yep. they do provide a lot of cover at the same time. If you know no one's in that trench, you can take cover in it. Yeah, it's a great place to chuck a grenade, as we saw earlier. Yep. Yeah. But it is hard, though, right, to determine that. So many turns, so many corners. You just never quite know what you're gonna find. And by the way, Miss Ella is just oh. crushing it. Oh, well, there you go again. You just did it. Just, you know, Andrew, you I gave can't. the curse. I, I'm sorry, Miss Ella. I, I hope you're not mad at me. <laughs> Over to Mugs now, once again sniping. We're we know that he trench. loves to do this. But he's using the LaBelle sniper, which is the French one. Okay, let's see if he finds himself. Oh, oh. Yeah. missed it. Some of those flick shots, man. I mean, how do you even do that? Yeah. I'm just, like. <laughs> I sit in awe and watch people who can snipe in video Him games. And, it's just uh, incredible. The Stade are like two of my favorite snipers to watch uh, on Twitch whenever they're streaming because they are so unbelievably talented oh. with this gun. But oh no, Muggs is taking a lot of shots to the left though. He's going to have to dive right into the trench, get, uh, you know, just yeah. really get himself get back in the cover. Well, I guess you can help. see the players up on the hill over the far side. That's who he's looking for. Well, he's going to need bread effects. There we go. Oh, oh there we go. 99 nice damage. sight lines here. Oh. See that kind of guy? He's taking a hit. The shot. All, all it takes, he just literally, all he has to do is breathe on him and Bugs will fall here. So <laughs> he's got to be very careful. Oh, oh there is a pathogen. Good night. Good there shot there. Are. Mugs looking to do it again. Oh, there you go. There you go. He didn't even need to you shoot get, the gun. Yep. All you had to do is take the bullets and then throw it at Mugs, and then Mugs would have would have died just on that alone. <laughs> now Doom looking to do his uh, best uh, Mugs impression here. Look at that score Sniper. now. The French have pulled it all the way back round. I can't believe it. <laughs> this, this is just battlefield at its finest. This, this is, is actually great. a really yeah. good game. No, it's <laughs> so close. Very impressive stuff here. And we're storming Dead Steel here. Yep. Looks like we're heading that direction. Here's one of the tanks. This is I X Factor, the one and only. Just annihilating. This is what I love to do personally. You just can see. Get this tank and go over and, and just, you know, oh, yeah. weed out all those, you know, small little, yeah. you know, cretins there in the trenches. Oh, yeah. Right. You want to be careful not to fall into the trenches. At this point. True. I probably would have fallen at, at this moment. Right. You it's know. the splash damage potential he's got here. Just firing it against the wall, waiting for the infantry uh -oh. to hug their head out. Uh oh, oh, oh no. no! He's okay. in. Oh, he's in. So you can still manage to move around. Can you? But I think there's going to be some really tight spots. Look, we also have cavalry in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because everyone's in there. Oh my is goodness. it possible the to get, kitchen sink? Is it possible to get out of the trench network? Once I, I'm thinking no. Oh well, wait. Oh. We might see something. <laughs> this, this Let's get not, creative. Let's see what we can do. This is gonna work. Oh, oh, oh no, yeah. no, oh, no, no. Oh, this wait, is not, Wow. <laughs> He's still getting kills. Imagine I'm if you're just going through the trenches. You're going through the oh, trenches. Oh no, Limpet's coming in. The the coming. <laughs> that was like QJB, oh. I believe. He like ran away. He saw that. No, that's a CC24. Saw the tank and was like, no, oh boy. I'm gonna just oh go boy. the other way. Oh, ah, yeah, no. that wasn't oh, gonna happen. Weezy. That was not gonna happen. Well. Squid and Weezy were going for the Olympic kill. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. know those guys. They were going for the Olympic kill. Oh my goodness. <laughs> gonna sit for the repair right here. So there is. Oh, oh, no. oh. oh, they're storming. They're no, storming. No, oh don't my do that. god. Danger Nuts. cow, what are you doing? <laughs> he, I think he's stuck. <laughs> Oh, I think absolutely. he is. Yeah, he's absolutely. Well, there's yeah. no way out. He, I think he knows he's stuck too. And rule number one is never leave your vehicle. Yeah. So we might see a really boring uh, game here. <laughs> he's just hanging around. Uh, I disagree. I think this is awesome because he's still getting kills. Like, there we go. Oh, he's managed to make his way well, They're all trying to take him out. Here we go. He's working no, his way along. We've got this. Oh, wait. We popped up a little bit. What he needs to try and do is get to one of the rear oh, trenches. To the left. Right? To the there we go. Use Beyond the pass. There we go. Climb up. Climb up. So he needs to push. No, not the happening. Try get behind the tank. Not Just go happening. and try it again. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> We're telling us absolutely not. It's not oh, going to happen. If, if he can get to one of the rear trenches, it does he, open he can't out. Go. He can get around the can, you, Yeah, there might be a way out here. Oh. Yes! And we're going to oh. see it today. Yes. There it is. There it is. <laughs> <Hit> it. Victory <laughs> nod right here. So happy. <laughs> Back so, in no man's uh, land, where it feels comfortable. Yeah, Some imagine though room. he gets out at that moment and then just gets bombarded. <laughs> and blows oh my up, gosh. Like, oh, that would have been amazing. <laughs> only very, in battlefield. He was very loyal to his team because if he'd have left the tank, not only could the any enemy team could have got in it, but if he had left it, there, then another tank wouldn't have spawned. Yeah. So he's kind of left the shell yeah. on the battlefield. Absolutely. Although he kind of took it into the trench himself, he was very good for getting it. 
You know, I, I like that you're finding the positive there. Glass <laughs> <laughs> half full for Westy, that's what it yeah, is. Yeah, right, glass half full. Find the positives and the negatives. But just to update everyone on the score. I mean, this is a really close it's game. Really close. Super 658, close. 645, the action continues to rage on here. Tickets are still coming. Yeah, we have nine minutes and 45 seconds left in, the, in this game, and we hope you guys are enjoying it. Once again, if you're just joining us here, you're checking out Neville Knights in the new map that is gonna be coming to Battlefield 1. It is the first night map that this game has, and it is awesome. Yeah, and it's coming later this month. Later this month. I am so excited. And also the uh, the other map as well. The other Priest map. did to her. I can't yep. say that five times. That one I've had to practice for. Yeah. And I hope I'm saying it right. <laughs> Couldn't you guys just call it like, you know, like darkness? <laughs> like well, that would have worked, right? It would have been fitting. Oh, man. Speaking of darkness, we're going over to Team Darkness here with Mugs TV. Finds one in front of him. That's going to be kill. skill up. That's never mind. Skill down for you, sir. Oh, oh very good. That was a nice one. <laughs> that's what I, like I do. That. You know, that's very why they good. pay me they moderate coming. dollars. They keep coming. Oh, oh got hit. the hit. He was going for that upper torso shot. Didn't quite land it. Oh, he was going for a headshot. That's what he wanted. Hoping for the duck or something. Muggs only goes for the face. It's just how he operates, man. Would you say it would be only for the mug? Only for the mug? Oh! oh you like Andrew, that? you should become a commentator with me, man. We should I cannot be as good as you guys. Do this more often. I love it. All right, waiting around here. Mugs. Again, we're, we're playing in No Man's Land here. A lot of the gameplay that we've seen has been in this No Man's Land and, section. But we have Ooh. seen some really good trench hitting yeah. there. But I think it's typical of the, the Conquest game mode, where mm -hmm. it's the constant movement and the it, flow. Yeah. So if you if you leave your own trench and go into No Man's Land, take mm -hmm. an objective, the chances are that the enemy team is flying around behind you and oh, taking one of the objectives absolutely. that you've oh! left. And, and I found, I found my, my biggest uh, success is usually when I'm trying to control oh! one or two points. I can't even with you right now, Muggs. <laughs> <laughs> you, I know you guys are trying to like talk about how great I was really is. trying to be strategic about no! this. This is how you do it. He's, this is he's grabbing ribbons left and right. You just go through and you shred. Period, man. Let's take D. I hope he can take D. He should just rename oh, himself the Blender. No way did he oh. just land that shot. He, he is was going getting shot everything. and suppressed by that player, and he landed it straight in the chest. This guy, man, he is just absolutely incredible. Taking cover gone. in the chapel here, the ruins. Looking for the next star. Oh, Whoa! Oh, headshot! Oh, hell? Is that a headshot? I don't know. One oh, no, no, cheesy mofo. Close, though. It was no, close. You won dead mofo. Looks so oh, good. My goodness. <laughs> I can't believe the shots he's getting. He, he's just getting assist that they're counting his kills because they're like, why not? Of course, game? why not? Well, he's trying to. He's finishing it off. There we go. I think there was one more left. There may have yeah. been. Oh, we switched kits. Switched out to the support kit. He was probably running out of ammo there. Get to, uh, Good players, I guess, count. do that. I, I haven't uh, I haven't run out of ammo before. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what that's like. Uh, happens to me all the time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a trench raider. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. That was a trench raider kill. I wonder who was doing it. I couldn't see the name of who was actually running the trench raider. Here we go. Stone we're Mountain, of course. Now. This is great. Unit 64 himself. Unfortunately, we're not in a trench, but we are taking cover. <laughs> <laughs> we are there taking cover here. This is going to be a good one. Running I'm looking in and out of the pillars of the ruins. So this was, I haven't had a chance to tinker around with the trench raider yet, though. Yeah, so How fun is he? Super quick, all melee. So you're oh. running, you have a little extra health because you have this armor on it. <laughs> yeah. So it is just all out war. This guy runs around, oh. makes some deadly strikes. Get ready. One hit kills. Get ready. <laughs> you can Get land ready. it. If you can land oh. it, go. I'm hoping you see something. Believe in yourself, Stone. No, don't get shot. Leave him alive. Oh! There's one. Jehovah. Sorry, buddy. Look at him on the guy. Two, you can see pull shark, three. definitely. Oh. I'm more like a landfish. Oh, man. Oh, oh, Just uh, dominating One health, space. one health. Oh. He's oh. down. He's down. He's down. <laughs> My goodness. That hey. was beautiful. That was good to watch. That was good to watch. <laughs> that was fun. He knew the pressure was on him. He heard us in the venue, so he was just like, yeah, oh, yeah. I got to show up yeah. right now. The screen's on me. Absolutely. Three kills in a row. That was worth it. Yeah, definitely. The Going. trench trade is like one of those counter attacks though, because it's like you've got to take because you've only got your melee weapon. It's like you do have the revolver, but it's not it's not the same as an automatic primary weapon. So and the club's the one hit kill. I mean you really want to use that guy. Yeah, definitely. And it's like if you know there's a couple of players around the corner, but you kind of you've got enough health, you just step back for a minute. Get your health back and then just storm them. Storm it. Yeah, you're yeah, gonna you're gonna win. By the way, guys, an update. Five minutes left in the game. Five minutes and 17 seconds to be exact. And it is still a close affair between these two teams. 828 to 839. And the points just keep on ticking. 
We're on board right now with Darkness429, an incredible Twitch streamer, by the way. If you get, ever get a chance to check him out, all these guys, once again, I said it before, I'll say it again. Amazing creators that we have here at EA Play, looking to just have some fun and also show off some great gameplay on the new map, Neville Knights, coming very soon next month. Uh, no, coming this month. This month? Oh, this <laughs> month. Very soon. You know what we haven't seen yet? We have what we haven't seen yet. Charlie. No one has actually called in for an artillery strike. You can throw in an artillery strike? to do that. How I do you know do that? that? Wait, you're not going to tell yeah. us, are you? <laughs> I, I think we should see if anyone can figure it out. Yeah, but I can't I go into that. it. Well, if, if it doesn't happen by the end of the game, we should talk. Yeah, doesn't the game start off with an uh, artillery strike, though, in the middle of the map? So you do have a little bit of that to okay. just kind of set the, mo the mood, keep you, uh, keep you in your points. Yeah, I like that. I like that quite a bit. It prevents everyone from like going nuts and just charging straight into the middle like a bunch of crazy people. And it also adds like a little bit of like story and theme to um, yeah, it. Right? Yeah, you know what I mean? That's um, a, that, and that's what this is all about, right? We're, we're looking at almost a tie score at the moment. It's only three or three, but there's no tickets in it. It is literally a tie score. Eight, seven, one, eight. So close. Yeah. Uh, but it may not be tied for soon. We are going to the time, just so you guys know. So, so three minutes, fifty seconds. Fifty seconds. Okay. And this could, this game could not be any closer if we tried. I swear we did not rehearse this. No. This happened last year at Gamescom as well. Both <laughs> games went down to the wire. It did. That's right. It happens every time we do this. <laughs> yeah. So what happens when you get a bunch of good players in one room and just have them duke it out, man. Hundred percent. Doom here with a trusty shotgun. Oh! Oh, oh dear. That's got to hurt. Yep. You that heard the scream. You knew it was coming. <laughs> and, uh, it's on its way. Oh, yeah, dear. well, that's funny because he's like looking around. He's like, is it above me or is it below me? I got it. And then there's just no brain in front of you going through your kidney. <laughs> here. Well, that I guess that's brutal. the good point of the vertical gameplay that you're going to get here. Right. You have to pay attention to where you are, especially when you're in the trenches. Oh, a little bit here for Dark. Oh. Uh, he was in the middle Not of good. nowhere, man. And a target as soon as you start shooting you just especially with the dark map right the way that it's laid out the muzzle fire you, you really see that and you can tell and, and again that's where the lighting really plays a role in this game and what you're able to do yep you really find those nice dark corners but what you're also going to see when they start sniping especially on the hilltops those silhouettes that are moving you see the movement fire yep. away <laughs> and that, that's correct because over the back you have some uh Almost like some AI elements, don't you? Yeah. Interesting. Two minutes, 25 seconds, 9.24, 9.53. Oh, yeah, the gap's opened up just a tad, though. The rocket gun comes. Oh, that's a deflect. lot of damage. That was a deflect. Second round, engine disabled. Can he finish it off? There we Done. go. It's gone. Beautiful. Just go for it, Stone. Just shoot and believe in yourself, man. <laughs> shoot it into the darkness. I the dare you. The whistle's blowing. Time to charge. I know, right? <laughs> Well, they are going to be able to overtake C. Both teams have three flags, but the C and D flag are swapped, so expect to see a lot of activity. Who's going to be able to win out that battle in the midfield is the question. Stone Mountain rallying with his team forward, shooting his teammate because reasons. <laughs> and it's over to A, and they're going all the way out to the other side of the map for that last-ditch effort here, Andrew. Only 15 I, I, tickets. I hope we see some something incredible here. <laughs> they have to cap at least two in order for them to come back into this one. I think yeah. with one minute and 23 seconds, because it's not sure it's going to happen. Yeah, no, it won't I mean, happen. We're, we're down. They are capturing two points. I can't see it happening personally. No, I think it's going to go. You think it's? No, I think three tickets. Nah, they're not going to do this. Not going to do it. Not going to happen. It's going to be real tight. Let's see if. See if it happens. They're resupplying oh, like there crazy. You go. Game over. To a thousand, and that's so right. Close. As a matter of fact, uh, it was to a thousand. Which I don't think you know. I mean, we figured we were going to make it there, or till the game ending. Either way, though, they needed to stop literally everything from happening, and that was not the case. Team Darkness that's will great. reign supreme. <laughs> oh boy, what a what a match! That was yeah. awesome. Well, it's kind of fitting too, because it yeah. was a dark map. I have to say. Well, you know, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the highlights from that game because they were a metric crap ton of highlights <laughs> from that game, man, I have to say. Uh, Doom 49 had a couple great shots, as well as Muggs. Muggs, I think, was a superstar this whole game, though. Just getting shot after shot after shot. He was absolutely tearing it up. I mean, like, if watching Muggs do some of that, I think it's just, it's not, it's, sometimes it's not even the accuracy, it's the continued accuracy beyond the first shot. Like, first shot, second shot, third, every single shot lands. Yeah, incredible. 
only in Battlefield moments right there. Yeah, well, yeah. it's your... And here's the thing, that's not just marketing speed. <laughs> that is like actual, <laughs> yeah. like, you know, you get these crazy moments in this game because of the open nature of it, right? That's what yep. lends yep. to the uniqueness Super dynamic. of this game. Yeah. This is the stuff that drives us when we're making these games. We want to make sure we, we, we provide these, uh, these ways to create those moments. And, and I'm particularly glad too, because as a person who really enjoys infantry co uh, combat, I like that this map really highlights the infantry combat. It's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, right? You know, the, the gun mechanics in Battlefield are fantastic. I want to be able to take advantage of it as much as possible. And, and you know,